a lot more water in here than I thought there would be. There's a lot more mud too. The anticipation is killing me. Oh, here's a big fella. Oh! We got this pond put in a few weeks ago, and since then we've done a lot to it. We put the mulch around it, the gravel, plants, we added some more rocks, and yes, we added fish. And the way we got those fish, it's pretty interesting. Micah Miller, the owner of Easton Outdoors, the good folks that put this pond in for us, said he regularly gets calls from people looking to get rid of fish for whatever reason. And it just so happened that a couple of days after this pond was done, he got a call from someone that said, hey, I got fish in my backyard in a bad situation. Why don't you come and get them? And so on the day of the worst storm we've had all year, I went up to Virginia and met Micah to get these fish. And this is what happened. All right, here we are. We are about to rescue some fish. This is gonna be fantastic. I know our homeowner just got here, so let's talk to her and find out what the situation is on this pond before we move these to North Carolina. Hey. Hi. I'm Micah. Julia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So you just got this house, right? Just bought the house. Yeah. It's got a koi pond, was not well taken care of. It's not something that my fiance and I are particularly excited about or yeah. passionate about, so we just wanna send the fish somewhere that will uh, take yeah. better care of them. Well, I know we just built a pond down in North Carolina that we wanted to get some fish rescued to take down there. So let's check it out. Let's see Perfect. what you got. Oh yeah, here it is. Yep. You can barely see the pond. There's so much vegetation around it. And this is some pea green soup. So do you know anything else about the fish or you just know that they're in there and do they give you any instructions on it before they left? Nothing. Nothing. No. Nope. It like, sounded like they just hightailed it out of here, Basically. right? Basically. Yep. Wow. Let's see if we can get them to come to the surface and we can see what's in here. Now we're going to play a guessing game. How many koi are in this pond? John, what's your guess? Koi or goldfish? Okay, all right. Outside of minnows and fry and things like that, how many carp? I'm going to say 21. 21. All right. How many do you think are in? Yeah, I'll say 24. 24. Okay, so she's going up. I'm going to go way higher. I'm going to say 35. What? You want to do a uh, mystery sweep with the net and see if we catch anything? Just a bunch of muck. That's nasty. I <laughs> think I should get the waders on. Probably would help, wouldn't it? Do you have them? I do. What size are you? I'm an 11, so I can squeeze in there easier than you can. I guess I'm going in. <laughs> it's almost like I planned it that way. If I fall, I swear there's gonna be an R rating to this video. <laughs> yeah, my feet are definitely getting wet. Oh, here's a big fella. Oh, that one was a big fella. That was a big boy. The anticipation is killing me. I got one. Sweet, all right, hand off. There's a lot more water in here than I thought there would be. There's a lot more mud, too. Here, stick this in there, too, Micah. Oh, we went through the hole. My pants keep falling down. Oh. Good, 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 good. Oh, that's a big fella. He won't, he won't fit through the hole. Yeah, every scoop gets hundreds of minnows. Oh, we got our first big bonus. Excellent. All right. Uh, support. All right, buddy. All right. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got the net stuck in it right here. Wow. How crazy he's been tells me he's been hunted before. Birds, raccoons, heron. So the heron will fly over. Oh my gosh. This guy is. Oh no. Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh, he's determined. All right. I'm going to put this net over it real quick and I'm going to go grab the. Uh, it. What's the name of this tropical storm? <laughs> There's just so much mud, I can't tell what's what. Yeah. Here's one. Oh, I got one by accident. I think there might be two in here. I've only trying. had one koi and the rest of them have been goldfish. Yeah, but that was a nice koi. That was a medium. Yeah, medium that's a good guy. Man. That's a good looking dude. He's he's real angry in there. He ain't gonna be angry when he goes in his new home. That's right. <laughs> Sharknado. <laughs> <laughs> we were catching these koi in this storm game and just took them up into the sky. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, I had him too. You got him. Nice. Oh, I found a big fella. Oh, he's a big one too. I, I just had a big one, but I was chasing him. I couldn't, couldn't get him. Have you ever seen Bigfoot down in your fields? No. Hmm. Are you not a Bigfoot believer? Not in Northeast North Carolina, I'm not. Well, don't you know about the Sasquatch that lives in the... the... They're called Sam Squanches. Sam Squanches. Okay, do your research. <laughs> do your research before you talk to me. Oh, oh, there he is. There's one of them. Mother. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that guy. Wow. That is not the one that I was just pursuing either. That was just by chance. Number eight. So where are we at? Eight right now? A far number away from your 35 prediction. What were you about to call me? Nothing. Don't make me get up out of this pond. <laughs> I don't think you can. <laughs> It'll take me a while, but I'll get out. <laughs> Guarantee you when Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, gets in ponds, his waders don't leak. I don't think I've ever seen Greg get in a pond that looks like this. It's very true. We all know if Greg was here, he'd be in the pond. He would be in the pond. Come on, guys. Where are you at? Hey, Ooh. corner. I got my eyes on two of them. Three of them. Beached whales. Okay, well, it's two. If I don't take some of those purple plants home, I'm going to get yelled at. I, I guarantee you're going to get yelled she's at. She's going to see them in the video, and she's going to be like, where's the purple plants? And these, I'll plant right in, like, the waterfall. We got one! Eleven. There are two very large fish in here that I don't know where they are. There is a mama right there. Oh! Oh, hey, That's girl! That's not the one we're looking for, but jeez. Oh, oh, look at this, look at this. Here, he, you want the launch net. Now you tell me? Oh, he's right there, look at his dorsal. Right here, right here, oh, right yep, here. Yep, 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 yep. I don't want to hurt him. Big fella. He's in there, he's in mine. You got him. Yeah. Oh, uh, look at him. Woo, what's up, dude? That is beautiful, beautiful. All right, we got 12. Look at that guy. Oh yeah. So we're at 11 now, here's number 12. What? 12. So we're at 11 now, here's number 12. Oh, come on, girl. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Here's number 12. 12, here's number 12. 12, here's number 12. Are you stupid or something? Oh, look, there was a bonus one in this one, so that... 12, 13. 14. Right there. 15. Oh, there's a huge frog! Turn right there. Two of them. 17. 
That's a big one too. Yeah, they're all giving up now. Yeah, they are. 19. Twenty. What is this? Twenty-one. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. These guys are not happy. That's a pretty one. Look at this. You're gonna be so happy. You might not be right now, but this guy's not happy. This guy's happy. got some da damage. That was twenty-one. Twenty-four. Ooh. Silver. Twenty-five. They've calmed down a little bit now. Okay. Oh, look at it poking its little face up there. Would you just look at it? Just look at it. Oh, I see one. I see one. Just look at it. There's twenty-seven. Come on, guy. Just stand back and look at it. Would you just look at it? <laughs> I'm taking this baby. Wants to come home with me. Freestyle to one of my friends. <laughs> the amount of minnows that are in here is just absolutely crazy. And I could be wrong. What I thought was a baby koi, <clears throat> but it's not. It's just a baby goldfish. <clears throat> Over an inch, over an inch, I'm gonna count it. 28? I think that puts us at 28. I don't know, the camera will tell the true count, so. Of course the water's gonna go down by about an inch when my big butt gets out of it. Oh, we'll catch all the fish then. <laughs> I don't know where I would step. I'm just gonna crawl. Okay. Of course you had to film that. <laughs> but I didn't fall, I never fell once. Yeah, I demanded that we get those. So I don't usually give other men's wife flowers, so I'll <laughs> let you give them to her. <laughs> See the purple? When I saw those, I was like, yeah, those have to come home, because uh, oh, yeah. if she sees them on the video, and I, she's going to immediately say, why didn't you bring those home for me? So we're going to take the same method right here. We're going to go to the side, pull back some of these rocks. And you see this water down in here? So we want to make sure that some of these roots get into that water. So I'm going to kind of plant it right here off to the side, get those roots down in there. Because if those roots aren't touching the water right when you first plant it. Oh my it, God. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Maybe it's time for him to go in the pod. Well, yep. he's in. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah, he's in. He's in. <laughs> that was not the way we planned that. <laughs> Well, he's a pretty fish, isn't he? He's gorgeous. <laughs> well, should we just start putting them in? I think so.
think that was a successful trip, right? It definitely was. I'm thrilled. Look how good they look. They're fantastic. <laughs> They're everywhere. No, it really was. I mean, when we first started talking about this and having it be a rescue, it was like, I didn't know we were going to end up with a scenario this perfect. Like an actual rescue. Right. Where we're pulling them out of quite literally the sewer. Yep. And putting them in this, I could not be happier. Yeah. That's... We wanted this to be a rescue pond. A and place. now it officially is. Yeah. For rejects and the unloved. And we even rescued some plants. We did. So here we are. It's been about two weeks since we put these fish in here and they're settling in pretty nicely. We ended up with four very large koi and 24 goldfish. Yikes. We certainly weren't expecting that. When the young lady reached out to Micah, she said there's maybe like 10 fish or so in there. I guess there was a whole bunch of them buried in that muck and she just couldn't see them. And you might be hearing that 28 fish in this tank and you're thinking, John, that's way too many. And you'd be right. And we're already thinking about what to do to resolve that problem, which would probably involve a second pond down the road. I don't know. MPS has already grabbed hold of me. But what was I gonna do? I mean, I wasn't gonna leave all of those goldfish there, just take the prize koi and then leave everything else. I'm not that guy. The really sad thing is, we didn't get to add Lisa's five feeder fish into this pond, because if we put them in there, they'd just get lost and we wouldn't know which one was them. So what we're thinking is we get a second pond and put all of these goldfish into that pond and then put Lisa's feeder fish into here which would leave us with nine fish in this pond. And I think it can handle that. So as I said, we ended up with four amazing koi in this pond, two of which I know are kahakus. I do not know what the big red one and the white and gray one are. If you happen to know, put that down in the comments below. I'd love to know what those fish are. And in case you're wondering about the names, I named them Greg, Ed, Micah, and Jim. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out where those names came from. Now I gotta address something that's very important. The feedback that we've received about this pond has been overwhelmingly positive. But there's been a few people that are the kind of people that order chicken fingers at a fancy restaurant that have said, this pond is way too small. Why didn't you go bigger? Seriously, this pond is 1,400 to 1,500 gallons. In what world is that small? Would I love to have one that's the size of my entire five acres with huge streams, eight foot waterfalls and beaches and gazebos? Yeah, of course I'd love that. But who do you think I am, Shaquille O'Neal? Now you might be thinking, well, John, geez, you got this pond for free. Why couldn't you just go bigger? Well, I didn't get it for free. Yes, we had a lot of help with it and we are so thankful and so grateful for that. But we had to pay for a lot of this stuff. This size pond is what our budget would allow, and you know what? I could not be happier. Contrary to what my favorite comment said, which I actually had to pull out a piece of paper here to see it, honestly, I don't think John sounds fully satisfied with the final look. I'd say the shallow part is too wide, at least. What? This is an example of someone who is miserable with their life and looking to tear down everything around them. You, my friend, could not be more wrong. I don't know what's going on in that simple brain of yours where you hear things like, I could not be happier, and this is the realization of a lifelong dream for me, and think that means I don't like it. Stop sucking on your mom's tit, grow up, and be happy. It's not that hard. I still don't understand how the shallow part is too wide the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Anyway, I'm sorry. This is why I usually don't read the comments. I let Lisa handle that. 
But while we're on the topic of the comment section, there's probably going to be a bunch of people that give the young lady that had the pond in her backyard a bunch of crap. Don't do that. This was not her or her fiance's fault. If you want to be mad at someone, be mad at the people who sold her the house. They're the ones that bailed on these fish, turned everything off, and left them for dead. The new homeowners did the right thing and found someone to come get the fish and give them a better home. And if I'm being honest with you, I'm glad they did. We got some amazing fish out of this deal and I feel so much better about it than if I had gone to the store and bought them. These fish have been in the pond for a couple of weeks now and they're settling in pretty nice. I mean, the koi are still a little skittish if I walk up to the pond too fast, but I've been sitting on the big stone every night when I feed them and they're getting closer and closer to me each time. I am so entertained by the way koi eat. <laughs> I could watch it all day. I am so looking forward to when they're comfortable enough to let me feed them by hand. They've been in a really bad situation for who knows how long, so it'll just take a little bit more patience and that's no big deal. I can wait. I couldn't possibly end this video without thanking Easton Outdoors once again. Micah and his crew were amazing to deal with and I could not recommend them more. I barely knew Micah before going to get these fish, and as you saw in the video, we were going back and forth with each other as if we'd been friends for years. And if you ask me, that's the best type of person to deal with. No matter what that idiot from the comment section said, I am absolutely thrilled with the work they've done. I'm happy, elated, ecstatic, jubilant, through the moon, delighted, and any other word you can think of that has the same meaning as happy. Maybe it's time to stop bragging about your sword signed by Randy Jackson and realize that not everyone feels the way you want them to feel. I also have to send a big thank you to Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, and everyone else over there at Aquascape for providing the kit for us to build this pond and hooking us up with Easton Outdoors. Like always, I'll put links to both companies' social medias and websites in the description. My relationship with both of these companies is just beginning and I can't wait to share more of this pond with you in the future along with any other pond projects we might get into.